Protection from malware is necessary, but you don't want to slap some random antivirus on your PC and just hope for the best. So today, I've got five of my own best antivirus for PC recommendations just for you. Actually, I've got a few more because I sat down to test some fan favorite antivirus picks and compare them to find the very best antivirus solution overall. But before I do that, I do need to address a couple of options that I do not recommend. First of all, please do not leave your online safety in the hands of Windows security. It's only good for the most basic protection. If you're extremely careful on the internet, okay, sure, you might get lucky. But these days, any stronger or simply newer malware is designed to slip through the cracks. And that's not just an assumption. That's exactly what I saw in my own testing as well, where Windows security got a very low score. And another option I do not recommend, at least not anymore, is Kaspersky. It's a Russia-based antivirus, and in light of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, it's caused quite a lot of stir and concerns, and not just for users, but on a governmental level. So even if there was nothing to worry about, a Russia-based company is not something I'm willing to support. Sorry. Besides, there are plenty of other reliable options out there. Okay, so talking about those, three of my personal best antivirus for Windows 10 and 11 picks are Bitdefender, Norton, and Total AV. They all have been in the antivirus game for a while now, but while I think that all three are solid picks, I'd say that each one suits a different type of user. I'll explain why in just a minute, but first, let's go ahead and check the most important factor. How well do they catch malware? If you take a look at independent antivirus testing results, the clear winner here is Bitdefender. It got top marks in every category. So if you want the best antivirus for PC based solely on the highest scores, I'd say either go with Bitdefender or Norton, as it only lagged behind a little in performance. However, I did my own testing as well and planted 10 malicious files onto my PC. Somehow this time, all three picks got a similar score. Norton and Bitdefender caught 9 out of the 10 files. Total AV also caught 9, but failed to remove one. Still, now keep in mind that I ran the test with real-time protection turned off. With it turned on, you should get good all-around malware protection, and most threats will be caught instantaneously. So in the end, there's no difference in the level of protection, but I did notice some significant differences when it came to performance. Now, I'm used to seeing Bitdefender as one of the most lightweight antivirus for Windows 11 and 10, so I was pretty surprised to see that it often maxed out my CPU this time around. It's not a terrible sign, but it means that you should probably leave your PC alone while the full scan is running. However, the scan only took around five minutes, so at least it got the job done quickly. Meanwhile, Total AV testing took the longest, around 15 minutes. Still, it retained around 60% CPU usage at most times, which is pretty impressive in my book. But one thing I don't like is that I had to choose what to do with the malware manually, which does give some extra time for the malware to act. Now, Norton antivirus testing results are kind of in the middle between the other two. The scan took around 10 minutes, and on average, it used around 80% of my CPU. Plus, Norton automatically removed all detected threats, so I'd say it's got very solid overall performance results. When it comes to malware detection, each best antivirus for PC options will serve you well. So in the end, I'd suggest choosing based on your needs. As always, I search the internet for the best discount deals, and you can grab the best antivirus at its lowest price. And all you gotta do is check out the description below once we're finished here. Let's continue, because we got a bit more to go over. Like, if you're picking an antivirus for Windows 10 or 11, it's important to take a look at what kind of additional features each antivirus has. And of course, if you're actually going to use them. For example, Bitdefender covers all the antivirus necessities. There's Advanced Threat Defense, which is basically advanced real-time protection. And I also found Ransomware Mitigation, which protects my device against malware that can encrypt my files. However, I would say that this best antivirus candidate is great for A, beginners, and B, gamers. It's really easy to navigate, so even if you've never had an antivirus before, you won't get lost. So then, why is it good for gamers specifically? Well, even though the full scan took a lot of my PC's resources, on a regular basis, Bitdefender runs quietly in the background. 
In this sense, it truly is the most lightweight antivirus for Windows 10 and 11. And there's also a special gaming profile that I like to use when gaming. It limits background monitoring. So this way, the antivirus impact on my system is as minimal as it can be. Now, Total AV has its unique set of advantages. Besides the special tools against ransomware, I really like their system tune-up tools. I use this from time to time to clean up my device from junk files and improve the overall performance, which is especially useful for my older devices. Total AV also has a great ad blocker feature, which effectively removes pop-up banners, third-party trackers, and well, you name it. And since you won't get malicious ad pop-ups, it also lessens the chance of getting malware in the first place. Okay, what about Norton? Well, I'd actually recommend this one for advanced users. Norton isn't that easy to navigate, as there are lots of features and most of them open in separate windows. But where Norton lacks in ease of use, well, it makes up for in customizability. I can adjust basically everything to my liking, from customizable scans to their advanced two-way firewall. It's also a security stronghold by default, but while also letting you feel in charge of your defenses. So security enthusiasts are gonna feel right at home. Now the last key difference between these three options is, you guessed it, pricing. When it comes to basic plans, the pricing is really not that different especially if you use their respective discount deals from the description. However, there are still a few important distinctions to keep in mind. For example, Norton's cheapest plan doesn't have a VPN and only protects one device. I mean, who just has one device these days? But hey, no judgment if you do, I guess, uh, but that would be the perfect plan for you. Just consider that Bitdefender offers a Windows exclusive plan for three devices at a very similar price with all the antivirus necessities included. Now, Total AV doesn't have a Windows specific device restriction, so that's a bonus, but it will cost a little bit more. It includes the system tune-up tools and a handy disk cleaner. But sadly, if you want the ad blocker or a VPN, Oh, you're gonna have to go for those pricier plans. Okay, now if somehow you didn't see what you like among my top three best antivirus for PC 2023 options, well, don't worry, I've got more up my sleeve, mainly Surfshark antivirus and NordVPN's threat protection. Now, I kept these guys separate for two reasons. One, they're pretty new to the industry, so it's hard to suggest them as your first options that you should go for. But at the same time, other than being new, they're already proving to be very powerful. The second reason is that they're kinda, well, specific. Because first and foremost, these two are very famous and powerful VPNs. So before making them your antivirus solution, you're gonna have to decide if you actually need a powerhouse VPN. And that's entirely up to you, of course, but I definitely recommend it anyway. Not only is it great for online protection, but also things like accessing content from foreign streaming libraries or getting proper protection while browsing. Now, when it comes to the antivirus part, well, these two options are actually significantly different. For example, Surfshark by itself doesn't have an antivirus. You only get one with the more expensive Surfshark One plan. The antivirus solution is just one of the elements in the plan, but yeah, it's the most useful one, as it includes multiple scanning options and even webcam protection. I also really like Surfshark's Clean Web 2.0 feature. It resides in their browser extension, and it's very effective at blocking ads and pop-ups. I also found that it monitors malicious activity and even scans for data breaches. Now, take this feature and turn it up to 11, and you've got yourself NordVPN's threat protection. It's found within the NordVPN app as part of their VPN feature set, which means no additional payments for it. <laughs> Joke on that capitalism. And just like Surfshark's Clean Web, threat protection blocks ads, pop-ups, and malicious websites, but it can also catch malware as you're downloading it. And it's pretty great at it too, at least based in my testing it was. So I'd wholeheartedly recommend NordVPN to those who need a VPN and don't wanna pay for an antivirus as well. All right, all right, the time has come. I've shown my top picks and yep, you want more. So let's discuss some fan favorite options. But since you kept watching up to this point, you should probably go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. 
Academy. We discuss a wide variety of cybersecurity topics here, and you'd help us reach and educate even more people with your support. So hey, thanks in advance. All right, now back to the best antivirus for Windows 11 and 10 list. If I had to pick a fan favorite that I'd also consider my own current favorite, I'd undoubtedly say Bitdefender. But we already discussed that already, so what's next? Ah, ESET. ESET Not32 is a Slovakian cybersecurity product with great independent testing scores. It has reliable real-time protection and doesn't require a lot of system resources, so it's easy to see why people like it. Personally, it feels kind of expensive and lacks additional features, so that's why it didn't make it to my top five. Another best antivirus for PC option I often see people commenting about is Avira. For me, the most impressive thing about it is the super fast full scan and how it actually works. I mean, just look at independent testing scores. However, again, it's quite expensive. A couple of other drawbacks that I noticed are that some features are browser extension only, while others are Windows exclusive. It's not a problem since we're discussing Windows Antivirus 2023 solutions specifically, but I for one want to protect more than just my PC. Next up is Trend Micro. It's a reliable antivirus with great detection scores, and due to a user-friendly interface, I'd also suggest it for beginners. However, if you end up not liking it, ooh, be prepared to fight to have it uninstalled. It's a headache. Oh, and on top of that, there's no webcam protection and no built-in firewall, which automatically is a minus in my book. All right, now what about Malwarebytes? It's definitely a pretty popular option and deservingly so. It has good detection rates and isn't heavy on PC resources. It's just that adding extra devices to your plan costs more, so keep that in mind and generally their pricing is already quite high. And lastly, I wanna mention Sophos, as I saw some of you mentioning it. Now in this case, I can't really say that I'm impressed. While it's pretty fast at scanning and has a lot of features, I found its malware scanning capabilities to be very inconsistent. I'd say that this is more of a basic provider for fundamental protection. So there you have it, a total of 10 best antivirus 2023 options that are best suited for PC users. If you're overwhelmed by the choice, let's do a quick little recap. First, I'd recommend Total AV if you want the best price to value option. Bitdefender stands out as my top recommendation for beginners, while Norton is a great choice for advanced users. And if you're looking for a VPN and antivirus combo, check out Surfshark Antivirus or NordVPN's threat protection feature. Whichever option you pick, I hope you found the antivirus that fits you the best. Don't forget to check that box on the side for the top antivirus deals. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.